Hi everybody. Um, I hope that you were into the full swing of the holiday <laughs> craziness as much as we are around this house. Um, this is my ponytail holder, which I could not live without. I, I have them usually covered, hanging on my arm. See? <laughs> I just have one left. I need to get some more. Um, thank you so much for all of your, your comments. It's just been so much fun reading everything. And um, I really am enjoying this. This is great. I can't wait to, to do it again. But I just want to uh, wish everyone a wonderful holiday. And don't forget about the Faith Hill Papa perfume dance. Woo! Yeah! Go get it for your friends. Yeah! Maybe not so much that. <laughs> um, but uh, I just want to share a couple of things with you before I sign off um, for the holidays. Um, I just want to kind of reminisce a little bit, a, a little bit about um, some things that are great holiday memories um, for me and, and things that I try to remember during this time of year. Uh, as I think back um, on Christmas's past and, and uh, my favorite times Nine, as a child eight, okay. growing up in Mississippi around this time of year, the one thing that always um, comes to mind more than anything else, more than any gift Drive or um, anything like that, it was really just hanging out with my family, honestly, and slowing down. Uh, of course, when I was in high school, it was no school, <laughs> but uh, just the quiet time, especially at night, you know, maybe playing a few games or reading a book together, um, making hot chocolate, cooking. We spent a lot of time in the kitchen. So uh, I, I certainly encourage you to do that with your family this year. Um, and, and I also want to not forget about the brave men and women that are in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, I don't want to forget about any of our service men and women that are, that are placed around around the world. I don't want to forget about them or their families that are here left behind. Um, let's keep them in our thoughts and our prayers every day, um, every day, even outside of the holidays, but particularly around this time of year, I think it's very difficult, especially for the families that, that are left behind. Um, so let's not forget them as, as we celebrate with, with our families together. Um, Let's see, what can, what can we talk about? Uh, think about um, what is the most meaningful gift that you've ever received. Uh, for me, I, I mentioned being with family and, and uh, hanging out together. It's really my most favorite thing to do. But um, I think one of the coolest gifts that I've ever received is uh, when... I was pregnant with Gracie. Gracie is our oldest daughter. She's 12. Um, Tim wrote her a note and put it in her little stocking. Um, this was before she was ever born. So this is something that uh, I will never forget. I still have that note. He did that for several, several, several years to all of the girls and to me. But that first one was really quite special because it was very unexpected and we were super excited to, to await the arrival of our first child. Um, so that's something that, that comes to mind first, uh, was that special little note. Um, let's see, some of my favorite holiday rituals. These are, these are questions that you guys have asked in the past. And, um, a lot of things that we do around the holidays as I said earlier, revolve, uh, take place in the kitchen. So a lot of the rituals really have to do with um, baking cookies and decorating them, um, making sure we have enough for Santa and for all of us to snack on. <laughs> um, 
But also we read the Christmas story from the Bible, the night before Christmas, and we also read the, the story the night before Christmas. Um, it's something that we do as a family. We uh, started a ritual many, many years ago where we allow the, the children to open one, one gift Christmas Eve, and it's, it's always a new set of PJs. <laughs> so they're, they're not surprised by what the gift is because they know it, it's going to be a, a new pair of PJs, but they are, they are surprised by the style of the PJs. And let me tell you, they have changed over the years, especially this year with Gracie. Um, not so much the flannel anymore. <laughs> uh, so she'll come back around in about 10 years. She'll want the flannel PJs again. But right now, it's got to be something much cooler than flannel PJs. So that's a tradition that we have in our family. Um, as I close out today with you, um, I just want to want to say, uh, do, something, do something this year that you've never done before for the holiday season. Um, do something that makes you feel beautiful as a woman. And for me, uh, besides, you know, the obvious taking care of yourself and putting on the moisturizer, and of course, I don't look that great right now. <laughs> I need to do a lot to myself. But the things that really make me feel good about being a woman is, is doing something for somebody else. And that is... Uh, it's something that, that I encourage all of us to do this holiday season. And we're going to do it. Uh, my girls and I and Tim and, and um, the people that work with us, um, we're going to volunteer to Soup Kitchen. can do that. Every city has one. Uh, donate your time in a shelter. Do something to organize maybe a coat drive or take the time to clean out your closet and and give those things to someone that really, really needs them. So let's do that. Let's do that together, and let's talk about it maybe after the holidays. And don't stress yourself out about it. Just make it um, something. Just decide to do it. Go do it, and I guarantee you it'll make you feel beautiful inside and out. Um, I really do wish you a wonderful holiday, and I... Um, I'll think about you over the holiday and look forward to chatting with you again. Okay, God bless. God bless the families of our troops and our troops. Bye. Happy holidays.